Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss topic from the course algorithms and we are going to start from the first unit introduction. For our discussion today we will be discussing what is algorithm, why you need to do algorithm analysis and how to do that. Uh, let us begin with an image. The image shows you a set of biscuits and each biscuit having some number of choco chips on it. Now, the, if your problem is you just want to count how many number of biscuits are there or the problem may be you want to find the one which has the largest number of choco chips on it or the problem may be you want to find a biscuit having least number of choco chips. Whatever may be the case, based on the case you have to write an algorithm if suppose the problem is just counting the number of biscuit you will you may start from the top and you can move towards the left counting number of biscuits that is so simple if you want to find the biscuit having more number of choco chips then you have to design an algorithm such that first the algorithm picks a biscuit counts how many number of choco chips on it in the way it has to do it for all the biscuit and finally it has to find the one which is having the highest count. Now let us see the next scenario. See this is the one which we day to day life use your google map. Uh, I am here I am trying to find the, um, the map from the college to the home place. Here you may wonder where the algorithm comes I have to find the route. Right, finding the route uh, from the source to the destination depends on various factor. It may be the shortest path or it may also consider uh, the largest path which is not having a traffic. Right, so based on the scenario you may impose the algorithm which is most suited for you. In this way in our day to day life the algorithm plays an important role from the simple task to a complex task. So today our objective is uh, we need we are going to understand what is algorithm analysis, why you need to do algorithm analysis and how to do that. In the last part we will just throw a light on what are all the different ways you have for algorithm analysis and in later uh, videos we will discuss them in elaborate. So first of all what is algorithm? It is a well defined procedure that takes some input value, process it and produce some output. In our example, it will in our first example it may take the image of a picture, then it has to produce the output based on your question. If the question is how many number of biscuits you have, it has to display that output. In, the, in our second case the input will be the source and destination place and it has to give you the route the best optimal route between the source and destination. Now in simple words I can say it is a sequence of computational steps that transform your input into the output. So to do an algorithm what are all the things I need? I, expect, I need an input. I, it has to produce an output it should be definite what do you mean by definite uh, each and every instruction that you give to the algorithm should be clear and unambiguous your instruction should not have any um, confusion so that your algorithm doesn't get any stuck then it should be finite for any kind of test cases your algorithm should stop at some amount of time that is your fineness now before getting into what is algorithm analysis, let us look at the um, flowchart on how your problem get transformed into coding, right? That is the basic need, right? So first you have to understand the given problem, then you decide what kind of solution you need for that problem. It may be, you may need an exact solving or approximate solving. What is that exact solving? You need exact count or you need some approximated count, right? Uh, to be more simple, you can have it in that way. So you first decide on what kind of uh, computation you are going to do, then you design the algorithm, then you prove the correctness of the algorithm. Designing is alone not sufficient, it, uh, design should be such that it proves, it gives the exact answer what you expect. Then you analyze that algorithm, 
then once you are satisfied you go get into the coding part now what are the important things i have to consider when i design an algorithm the very first thing is correctness your algorithm should be correct it has to give the exact answer what you expect for that particular problem so it has to be correctness then it is efficiency the efficiency plays a vital role right um, apart from providing the correct solution it has to be efficient efficient you are saying in what terms it is efficient let us come to that discussion further now you may have get a question suppose the computers were infinitely fast and computer memory was free would you have any reason to study algorithms do i need to study algorithms the answer is yes you have to study algorithms why i need to study algorithms you you want a way to demonstrate your solution right you need to tell how you derive to this solution a serious set of steps to explain that how you derive to the solution from the problem so you need an algorithm for that and again to say it is correct right you need a way for saying that what you are doing is correct now what is algorithm analysis how do i measure its efficiency in generally analyzing an algorithm means how you what kind of prediction you make for that algorithm in the usage of resources normally uh, with respect to your computer the resources are nothing but two things main things one is your time and another is your space requirement time in terms of your execution time in an abstract manner you can call it as computational complexity and space requirement is your memory requirement and our goal is to understand how this algorithm performs as your input size grows we know nowadays the data amount is increasing gradually so, so you have to devise an algorithm that performs well even if your input expands now for our study purpose we are going to make an assumption that we are going to um, derive a computational complexity based on your ram model which is nothing but random access machine here we believe that the instruction are executed one after another that is there are no concurrent operation only one operation is performed at an algorithm and the algorithms that make use of this kind of instructions we call them as your sequential algorithms again we don't uh, attempt to model any memory hierarchy we don't uh, consider that there is cache virtual all those things we are not going to consider we are going to consider a simple model where we believe the instructions are executed one after another now as i said earlier you analyze algorithm in terms of space and time space is with respect to the memory occupied by the algorithm then definitely you will say it is based on the function of your input size and this is denoted by s of n now we have taken a simple example where you try to calculate the factorial of a given number n right using a recursive formula right uh, we know this function is implemented we what is given as implemented in python and here the input is n for the number for which you want to find the factorial and if that n is less than 1 it will return 1 otherwise it will recursively call itself by applying the recursive formula n into factorial of n minus 1 now how many times will this algorithm run you know based on n this algorithm will recursively run for n times so my space or my uh, requirement for the memory is depend on the stack frames how many time i am creating it you will create it for n time based on the given input n now so the say space complexity is order of n the next is time complexity here we have we are generalizing it as t of n where t represents the time taken for your algorithm and n represents your input size we have taken a very simple algorithm of linear search where the 
input for your algorithm is two things one is the array that holds collection of items and another is target which you have to search in the given array you are doing it until you reach the end of your array if there is a match it will return one up it will return the position of that particular element or it will return minus one so we will uh, what are all the possible cases here we will get i can find the element as a very first element no that is the best case and in that case uh, the my uh, at time complexity is just one because i have found it at the very first iteration itself and that could be represented as omega we will discuss that in later videos then what is the worst case i have not find the element in the array or i have reached the end of the last element that is my target is the last element in that case i could have traversed the entire um, array that is your big o notation or order of n then the average case the element may be present at any location uh, as it is average how do we take average n by 2 right so let me think that uh, my uh, element is at the mid position that is my average case normally we represent this average case in terms of theta um all about all this notations we will discuss in the next video as a summary now you we should have a clear understanding on al importance of algorithm analysis to understand the efficiency of algorithm and how we measure time complexity and how we measure space complexity for the preparation of this video this are the references i have used thank you